Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Channel English by Nisa. So in the last video we were discussing the chapter Toasted English by R K Narayan that is in degree third sem unit two. So in the last chapter in the last video we have seen how American toasted English according to their convenience and usage, and evolved some basic words which can they use anywhere and anyhow. So now let us continue our chapter. The refinements of usage in countries where English has a bizarre status are worth a study. On a London bus, you will never hear the conductor cry "ticket, ticket, ticket." He approaches the passengers and says "thank you," and on receiving the fare, says "thank you, sir." I found out that one could calculate the number of passengers. In a bus, by halving the total numbers of thanks hal, heard. So here, R K Narayan expresses the bizarre status of English. It is refined and royally used in London. On receiving the fare, the conductor says "thank you" in London bus. Means in daily life in London, the conductor approaches the passenger and says "thank you for fare." one can imagine the number of passenger in certain situation but whereas in india we hear the conductor voice saying ticket 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 with a packed bus having maximum passengers in any western country if a receptionist asks can i help you it really means have you any business here if so state it or it may mean eventually you have wander off into a wrong place go away which means she is not asking a question but questioning you so a man who wants to pass you always says excuse me while he may with all justice burst out what do you mean by standing here there gaping at the world while you block everybody's passage stand aside man So R K Narayan saying that it is a refined way of using English in British language for the word excuse me. The word excuse me is used when a person want to pass you always. It means you may block the passage, stand aside. So we have seen the usage of thank you and excuse me in American English. As when the conductor says thank you, the passenger has to take the ticket. Excuse me is also used by the conductor it is a request to passenger to allow the conductor to pass on to another passenger thus the conductor uses polite words when issuing tickets so here the author calls these words as the toasted form of english when you send your card in the busy man secretary appears and whisper in your ear would you like to wait Though the tone is one of consultation, you have really no choice in that matter. The thing to do is not to answer the question, but say thanks and look for a comfortable seat in the waiting room. Although you may feel like saying no, I wouldn't like to wait. I have other things to do. So here, R K Narayan showing the differences according to the usage and cultural aspects. In British English, when we send our call for appointment, would you like to wait? The secretary whisper in the ear. There is no way except saying thanks, waiting, and finding a comfortable seat. So here, there are the differences R K Narayan observed during his visit. Now the time has come for us to consider seriously the question of a Bharat brand of English. So far English has had a comparatively confined existence in our country, chiefly in the halls of learning, justice or administration. Now the time is ripe for it to come to the dusty street, market place and under the banyan tree. So here the author calls it Bharat brand of English. He feels that English is confined chiefly in the halls of learning, justice or administration. R K Narayan wants to call the English language used by the Indians as Bharat brand of English. R K's vision is that 
a day will come when a new brand of english will emerge from india and this will be called bharat brand of english he said that a day will come for indians to speak english with swadeshi stamp in those emerging days a common man in india will speak english which once upon a time was used only in the administrative level or in the university and in the courts of law or by scholars so he said that now days have changed english has now entered the social life of every citizen and is now found in all walks of life the man in the dusty street under the banyan tree should feel the need of english language according to narayan a day will come when the common indian sitting under the banyan tree and walking through the dusty street of india will speak english fluently english must adopt the comple- complexion of our life and assimilate its idiom i am not suggesting here a mon mongrelization of the language i am not recommending that we should go back to the days when we heard particularly in the railway were you go in man bharat english will respect the rule of law and maintain the dignity of grammar but still have a swadeshi stamp on it unmistakably like the madras handloom check shirt or the tripathi doll so here arke narayan suggests that a bharat brand english can be developed in india to suit to our cultural needs purposes and identity that type of english can have a swadeshi stamp indians are capable of having their own style of english marked by their uniqueness by giving the example of madras handloom check shirts or tripathi doll he is saying that though these products are from foreign countries but they have taken or adopted a touch of indian after coming to india in the same way english language which is british language how american toasted it in the same way we should also give our own flavor own touch and after that the language that will become in front of us will be toasted english so here we got a deep message in this chapter that indian english have its own identity its swadeshi stamp it should be unique and distinct from the present english so i hope this video would be helpful to you thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos thanks a lot